Luther Vandross was on the first episode of Sesame Street. That's insane. Singing the ABCs and right? the one, two, threes, you know. Sesame Street is Harlem. It's, and then you see the brown stuff. And then you're like, of course it is. Yes. It's black. <laughs> There's a bodega. Yeah. <laughs> John, I'm very excited. As the child of a mom of a certain age, <laughs> Luther Vandross is a foundational text in my house and in our car. So what made you want to make this film? Um, that's exactly why. But, you know, it was pretty shocking to me that there was no feature film about him and about his life. He is the soundtrack to our lives. So, um, you know, when Sony came to me, what they were... Um, making available to me was kind of documentary crack mm -hmm. you know it was um we could see all of his liner notes wow. we could see his song like you know his sketches yeah. so you know sony had and the state like opened all of that treasure to me so we know yeah. all the songs that are the soundtrack to our lives but we don't necessarily know how he got there. Yeah. You know, the black experience is wide. Yes. And for so many artists, you know, it's the trope. It's the music saved me. Yeah. I was dodging bullets. That was not Luther's story. Yeah, he talks about it in the documentary. He goes, if we were broke, I didn't know it. With these films, we're like, we're filling in, we're coloring it in. You know, yeah. we're filling in the parts that we didn't know. It was so beautiful to get to hear his peers and his contemporaries talk about his skill and his level of passion when it came to music. And people who were in music at the time say, oh, Luther, like I don't, a lot of people had it, but Luther had it. So he was a background singer for Roberta Flack, for Carly Simon, for, yes. Are, for Bette Midler. Bette Midler. He's you know, in the for top David hat. Bowie. For David Bowie. He had his own song, Funky Music. Funky Music. That then David Bowie said, I can't say funky music, but can I have this? Song? I'm self aware, David Bowie. <laughs> yes. I could have populated it from sunup to sundown with famous people who yeah. could talk about how great he was, but the people we got to speak about it were people who worked with him. Dionne Warwick um, told me that he used to um, call her at night and like talk about recipes. I mean... <laughs> we can't tell you one of my favorite parts. There's a moment in the movie where he heard what Eddie Murphy said on stage, and so then when Eddie Murphy came to see him live, he has a little he has a, a little stunt that he pulled for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> so Look at cool you paying see. attention. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's beautiful to see, it was beautiful to see someone like Jamie Foxx, who has a connection through his interpolation of uh, Houses Out of Home on Kanye West and Twisted Slow Jams. Yeah. So then you kind of go, what's Jamie's Luther connection? And he, Jamie's in the documentary <laughs> talking about how he used to seduce people by putting Luther <laughs> on the radio when he was on the phone. So what was it like getting Jamie Foxx um, uh, to help co-produce this? When, uh, when you know, Jamie and uh, his, the president of his company, Datari Turner, yeah. is one of our foremost producers, you know, black, white, whatever, Datari and Jamie are a force, and they are very involved. But um, I had never met Jamie in person, so um, he was like, come to my house, we'll do the interview at my house. So we get to his house, he just turns the music on, it's Luther, he just starts dancing. So then I started dancing, so then we were just dancing, that's how we met. Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful! Oh my gosh! You know, uh, while I, we had Mariah Carey in it, yes, because people forget that Mariah was a new artist, and he brought her and out. He brought her out in the club, and yeah. she says like she was nervous, and so one of the things that Luther was such a showman, but he was also so generous yeah. of spirit. And um, while we were doing the sound mix, um, they isolated all the sound. And then the, he just played me what Luther and Mariah singing together sounded like. These are phenomenal talents. These yeah. are, this is the voice, you know, these are the voices of our people. And yeah. so I think what Luther did is he said, um, he talked to us about the women, the black women that he admired and those vocalists. And then he's paying that forward. Yeah. So like, you know, I'm just part of that journey. Oh my God.